Bell races down the main straightaway. Going to try to go three wide for that number two spot. The 33S of Ben Stockton has the run along the top shelf of the speedway. Ben Stockton looks to grab the lead off of turn number four, and he will. Ben Stockton, your leader on lap one. Chris Jackson going to follow along the high side of the speedway. Jackson starting to roll the top shelf as well. He'll follow the 33S of Stockton down the back straightaway, working to the outside of the 7C at Cole Christensen. Jackson has had a charge from deep in the pack both nights so far this week in that 65 car as he goes after the 7C of Cole Christensen. Look out, Levi McGowan. He's spinning down the apron of the front straightaway. And the caution light will come out for the Cactus Cattle 68 of Levi McGowan. So yellow in the air for hometown racer Levi McGowan. He's, the field's ready to refire with two in and 13 to go. The first of two B mains for the Outpace USRA B mods, and we're back underway. Chris Jackson going to dive down to the inside of the 33S of Ben Stockton. He'll power ahead for the top spot just like that. Jackson, your new leader down the back straightaway. Chris Jackson to the lead. Stockton back to second. Cole Christensen, your top three as they work off a of turn number four. Mike Tanner in that fourth place spot. Fifth is Alex Williamson race. For the sixth place spot, look out. We got trouble down in turn number one. Striegel gets collected as well as the 31 of Phillips. And the caution flag will come to the air. We got trouble down in turn one. On the 65 of Jackson, they'll close the back bumper. We'll light them back up. Back to green, three and 12 to go. A dozen laps remain in this one, looking for the top six to move on. Cole Christensen, Alex Williamson, pretty good side-by-side -side battle for third as we work lap number four. Williamson and Christensen battle for the third place spot. Fourth is Tanner, fifth. That race is between Riley Whitworth and Cole Suko right now. Whitworth on the sixth and final transfer spot, Cole Dinner. Starting to roll up through the field as well as Ryan Phillips. We'll see if they can make a run for a transfer spot. Right now, Suko all over the back bumper of the 63 of Whitworth. He's on the outside looking in right now. Riley Whitworth on the sixth and final transfer spot. Stragles off the pace at the back of the pack. He may call it quits in the 17. Donald McIntosh, Ryan Dam get together. And Luke Phillips with nowhere to go in turns three and four. And we are back yellow. Donald McIntosh and Ryan. So here we go. Green flag goes to the air. B main number one for the outpatient story. B main back underway. They're going three wide for the runner up spot. A pair of Tanner racing cars up to the outside of the 7C of Cole Christensen. Mike Tanner and Ben Stockton start to challenge for the number two spot. They race side by side off of turn number four. Mike Tanner all over the back bumper, the 33S of Stockton, trying to take it three wide down into turns one and two. Tanner in the middle, Stockton up top. It's Christensen along the bottom that holds on to the second place spot. Approaching the second half here of the opening B main, it's Jackson, Christensen, Tanner, Stockton. That's your top four. Williamson and Whitworth still your fifth and sixth place cars as Mike Tanner wrestles the second place spot away from the 7C of Cole Christensen. Ben Stockton will look to follow suit down to the inside of the Sioux Falls South Dakota racer. They're going to get together off of turn number four. Some contact between Stockton and Christensen. Riley Whitworth's tightened up on them as well as the 15 of Williamson. Now they're almost three wide off of turn number two. Good battle brewing second on back in this one. Riley Whitworth has advanced one spot. He's got Williamson up to his outside. Mike Tanner throwing sparks down the front wall just ahead of Ben Stockton. Now Cole Christensen goes back after the Tanner racing cars down the back straightaway. He'll work back down to the inside of the 33S. Tanner will drop to the hub this time through turns three and four. So Christensen challenging to the inside of the 20 T of Tanner. They'll go three wide once again down into turns one and two. What a race between those three. The Tanner racing teammates, Stockton and Tanner, battling hard with the Sioux Falls South Dakota racer Cole Christensen. Good side-by-side -side battle there. Whitworth's in fifth and sixth is Williamson. Ryan Phillips and Cole Dinner on the outside looking in. 
They've closed in on Williamson just a bit. We'll see how it shakes out. Chris Jackson long gone in this one. He's just driven away in that 65. But Christensen and Tanner still putting on a show for that number two spot as Tanner will have it at the line. So Tanner has second at the line over Christensen. White flag being displayed to your leader, the 65 of Chris Jackson. One more trip around the park in B-Main number one. Tony Morgan will wave the checkered on B-Main number one. Chris Jackson will pick up the B-Main win. Race for second will come to the checkers between Tanner and Christensen. It will be Mike Tanner in second, third to Christensen, fourth to Stockton, fifth to Whitworth. And Ryan Phillips will grab the final transfer spot over Alex Williamson. So Phillips grabs the final transfer spot and knocks Williamson out of the show. Fifth goes to Riley Whitworth. Fourth goes to Ben Stockton. Third to Cole Christensen. Second to Mike Tanner, your B-Main winner, though. He is out of Lebanon, Missouri, in that Rage chassis, Ruble Racing Engines powered. Joe's Pharmacy, TJR Motorsports, Vans Motor Sales, Show Me Dent, Starnes Excavating, and East 32 Meat Processing 65. Chris Jackson, your winner in B-Main, number one. Here we go. Caution lights are out. DJ Tesh, Dan Hovden leading us to green. Green is out. Dan Hovden will jump to the race lead in the 16. Carl show the way in the back straight away. DJ Tesh, Dan Wheeler now. Side by side here. Row number one will be Hovden in 16. Hovden will lead lap number one in the 16 car. They're side by side behind him. The 30 of Tesh, the red one of Wheeler, the 85 of Maudry. Good three car battle there. Dan Wheeler trying to roll around the outside of the 85. He's got third. He's working on the outside of the 30 car. Side by side now for the second spot here behind Hovden in 16. Down the back straight away. Dan Hovden in 16 has jumped to the lead and he's trying to drive away. Dan Wheeler solidly second. Now Mowdry and Tesh side by side. Gunnar Watkins and Kent Nell on the final transfer spots here down the back straight away. Good battles behind them. Everybody outside of the top six is outside of a transfer spot right now. Dan Hovden trying to run away and hide up front in 16. Dan Hovden in 16, Dan Wheeler in red one, and DJ Tesh in the 30 car. Continue to be the top three spots. Bed Moudry's a fourth, and now that battle for fifth's a good one. Kent Allen's working on Gunnar Watkins. Watkins up around the outside in two. Kent Allen down to the bottom in the 98K. Side by side for the fifth spot here. A little bit of contact. Hang on, Kent Allen. Allen and Watkins side by side. Daniels from dead last trying to get up into a transfer spot here. He may have it in 33. Dustin Daniels rolling by Kenton Allen as Allen was out of shape after he and Watkins got together and Kenton Allen's going to get into a uke tire and around goes the 98. Fire race coming to green. Your non-qualifier race underway here at King of America 8. Bobby Malkus will take the field down into turns one and two. Tourville along the top side of the speedway. Jim Body upset the car there for a moment. He's still a little out of shape down the back straightaway. All is well, though, and Bobby Malkus will lead lap one. Bobby Malkus trying to run away from the field and see if he can't get himself into the A main tonight. It's Malkus and Tourville in those two transfer potential spots. 49 of Jake Tim taking a look to the outside of the five of Kyle Priner. Tim will go to third. Down the front straight away here. Keep your eye on the battle behind him as they are charging after Malchus up front. Good race for that third place spot. Tim has it for time being. That's Jake Tim at Herco Companies, number 49 junior. They're three wide for a moment. Priner right along the bottom groove of the speedway. Domer was working the middle. Good action around that third place spot as Malchus leads off a of turn four. Bobby Malchus sparking off the front straightaway wall. Here's your race leader. 
Second spot still Keith Tourville. As we said, the top two will be given the option of getting into the show or taking the $1,000. Down the back straight away, the 49 of Jake Tim has gone by to third. Good battle behind them now. Domer, Priner, here comes Town in 21T. Lance Town starting to move up through the field. He'll jump up into the top five by Kyle Priner. Keith Voss, Troy Girolamo right there as well, but it's Lance Town that moves up into the fifth place spot. He's got to run down the back straight away. We'll keep an eye on the 21T of Town as Malchus continues to roll untouched in the 4M. Bobby Malchus continues to lead. Keith Tourville, those two have driven off. They can hold those two top spots like that. They will be given the option to transfer in into the A main. Jake Tim would love to reel him in and get it a shot here. 49 car running a solid third. Fifth is Town working on Domer who's running fourth off turn four. Just outside of those top five, you've got Keith Foss in sixth. Seventh is Kyle Priner, race for eighth. There comes Ryan Gustin. Keep an eye on the 19R. Still a lot of laps left in this one. And Gustin has made some moves up through the field. We'll keep an eye on the Reaper in this one as Malkus continues to lead in 4M. Bobby Malkus still your race leader right around the top of the racetrack. We'll set the top five. It's Malkus, Tourville, Tim. Domer and Town. Outside of them, it's Foss. Gustin trying to get up there as well. He, Priner, and Girolamo with a pretty good battle for sixth. Bobby Malkus continues to lead this one. Keith Tourville working in that second place spot. The top two is where you want to be when the checker drops on this one. You can race on here at King of America 8. We got a three-car battle for third. Jason Persley has pulled pit side, and we stay green. Great battle for that third spot now. Lance Town in the back bumper, the 22-27 of Chase Domer. Domer hanging on to that spot. Gustin and Priner are still down the door. Great battle there. They've got a good one going on. Good battles going on for the 10th spot as well. Bobby Malkus will be in lap traffic here in a moment. All alone up front in four. Keith Tourville still in that second place spot. Third belongs to the 49 of Tim. Fourth is Domer and fifth Lance Town. Six runs, Keith Foss, seventh in this one, Ryan Gustin, eighth, Kyle Priner, ninth, Troy Girolamo, and tenth, Ryan Michelson as Bobby Malkus eyes the back of the pack down the main straightaway. Yep, another lap or so, and he will be in heavy lap traffic as Chase Sig and Sean Fletcher battling for position right in front of your race leader. It is still Malkus, Tourville, and Jake Tim, the top three spots. Let's see if lap traffic able to allow Jake Tim to run down the top two here as we come off turn number four, another lap in the books. Lap traffic could be playing a factor shortly in this one. Keith Tourville still in the number two spot. Third belongs to Jake Tim. A fourth is Domer and fifth Lance Town. We're strung out all the way around the Humboldt Speedway in this non-qualifier is Bobby Malkus. We may have just gotten bailed out in the lap traffic because we've got debris down in turn number four and the yellow flag comes to the air. Get that in, Brad. Now taking a look to the inside of a Tourville's 111 cars. We're set to come back to green for Malkus in four. Back to green in the non-qualifier. Malkus will take the field down into turns one and two. Jake Tim's jumped up into that runner-up spot. Keith Tourville gets shuffled back to fourth on the restart. But look at Lance Town digging down to the inside of the 49. Here comes Town in 21T. Boy, Lance Town, a great restart. He'll steal that second spot of the line officially. It'll be Town to the inside, Tim to the out. Side by side, Jake Tim gonna slap the concrete. Keith Tourville taking a look. Wants that second spot back and a shot of the A main, but Lance Town started inside of row four. He has raced that 21T up into a transfer spot off turn four. Boy, good battle for that third place spot at the line. Keith Tourville, the door shuts on the Webster, Wisconsin racer. He dives back down to the inside of the 49 of Tim. Look out, Chase Domer. Gustin was collected for a moment, not sure if he incurred any damage. Dutenhofer also driving through the infield there as Duval, Michelson, and the E85 of Strand are involved. In
Lights have gone down. Tonight's outpaced USRA B-Mod A-Main. 20 laps, and here we go off of turn four. J.C. Morton and Tyler Kidwell will lead us to green. A little smoke as they bounced wheels. Coming to the start here down the front straightaway. Green is out. We are underway. J.C. Morton led early last night. Did not go to victory lane. He's going to try to change that tonight as he is up front right now in 18. Cody Jolly taking a look to the inside of Kidwell there. Side by side off turn number four for second. Good three-car battle for that runner-up spot. Andy Bryant was poking his nose between the double zero of Jolly and the 54 of Kidwell. Good race in there. Bryant will roll to the top shelf of the speedway. Good race in second through fourth. Here comes Bryant to the inside and their third wide, three wide off of turn four. Great battle for that runner-up spot behind J.C. Morton. Jolly up to second. Andy Bryant taking a look to the inside for third. Brian in that fourth spot when they came by the start finish line. He and Tyler Kidwell door to door off to number two. Still side by side. Good battle there. Cody Jolly as we told you he won here Thursday night trying to get a victory lane twice on the weekend but he's got to get to J.C. Morton first. Andy Bryant will grab the third place spot this time by over the 54 of Tyler Kidwell. Put Bryant into the third place spot in that Billy Moyer victory race car 28. The young gun from Fort Scott, Kansas now in the top three as Morton leads off at turn four. J.C. Morton, still your leader. Cody Jolly, Andy Bryant, Tyler Kidwell, and now Jake Richards. Richards down to the inside of Dale Kralig's E85. Great battle side by side there for fifth. They'll run door to door off turn at number two. Maya Christensen right behind him as J.C. Morton continues to circle the Hummer up front. Thursday night, a feature winner. Cody Jolly continues to work in the runner-up spot. A past Ironman Series champion, the 28 of Andy Bryant. Still wheels in the third place spot. Tyler Kidwell in fourth. Race for fifth, still a good one. Jake Richards and Dale Krelling, those two side-by-side side in that race for fifth. Great racing behind your top three here. That battle for fifth, soon to be a three-car battle. Maya Christensen's running up on them. Chris Jackson and Brian McGowan right behind him as well, side by side outside of the top five. J.C. Morton will be in lap traffic soon if we stay green here. Cody Jolly not really making up any ground so far in double zero. Third still runs the 28 of Andy Bryant. Fourth is Kidwell. Fifth, Crailing. That action has settled at least momentarily. Jake Richards back into the sixth place spot. Chris Jackson searching top to bottom. We'll keep an eye on the 65 as he runs just outside of your top six. Boy, good battle there. You see it on your screen if you're watching at home. Maya Christensen and Chris Jackson door to door. Right outside of the top five. They've been side by side for a couple of laps. They're side by side in front of them as well. Dale Crailing, Jake Richards. And soon to be Tyler Kidwell. Those three in a pretty good battle outside of the top three as well. J.C. Morton still your leader in this one. Cody Jolly in second. 28 of Andy Bryant runs in third of fourth. This Kidwell race for fifth. There comes Jake Richards. He's rallying back now to the inside of the E85 of Crailing. And they are closing in on Kidwell. Things tighten up third through sixth. J.C. Morton, Cody Jolly, and Andy Bryant have driven off from everybody with that battle for fourth. Outstanding. Kidwell for now hanging on to that spot. Kralik still fifth. Sixth spot is up for grabs. A caution is going to blink on here. Jake Richards, Chris Jackson, and Maya Christensen were all in a really good battle for that fifth spot. Tony Morgan's green flag, and we are back underway. Halfway home in the night's outpace USRA, Beaumont, A Main. The field rumbles down into turns one and two, three wide for a moment for the third place spot. Andy Bryant will drive away from Crailing and Kidwell down the back straightaway. Here comes Jackson. He'll roll up to the outside of the 7J, keep an eye on the 65 off of turn four. Cody Jolly hanging right with race long leader J.C. Morton. Now Jolly taking a look to the bottom of the racetrack here and see if he can't find a little speed down there. They're going to go three wide outside of the top five. They're four wide there for just a second. Chris Jackson thought better of it and backed out as J.C. Morton continues to lead in 18. Jackie Dalton amongst the competitors in that battle as we got a car around on the exit of turn number four, Brian McGowan. After contact with the 7C of Christensen, goes around. J.C. Morton, your leader. We're back underway in the finale here for the B-Mods. See what Cody Jolly can do with the restart as the field races down into turns one and two. Jake Richards is going to look to grab the third place spot. He's going to do it off of turn number two, put Richards into third, Bryant back to fourth. Brian trying to roll back up to the outside of the 7J of Richards. Good race for third, working off a of turn number four, and it's Bryant that holds on to the spot. So Andy Bryant hangs on to the third place spot. They'll race side by side, working off a of turn number two. Andy Bryant in that third place spot. 
The 18 of J.C. Morton continues to lead. Cody Jolly in second. Andy Ryan in third. Fourth, Jake Richards in fifth. Dale Crailing. Sixth in this one is Jackson. Seventh is Kidwell. Race for eighth is between McGowan and Dalton. As Riley Whitworth rounds out your top ten in this one, they're all chasing the 18 of J.C. Morton. Chris Jackson going to pick up a spot. He will roll up into fifth ahead of Dale Crailing. So Jackson will grab a, another position in that 65. He's now into the top five. So he'll work up into fifth. Jake Richards now under attack from the 65 of Chris Jackson. He's been the hard charger all weekend long in that TJR Motorsports 65. He's rolled from 13th into the top five, looking for more. Down to the inside of Jake Richards. Side by side there for the fourth place spot. Jackson has the advantage off a of turn number two. Oh, look out. Kidwell's hard in the wall, and he will get plowed by Muhlenberg. We got a pile up down the back straightaway, a nasty one at the entrance of turn number three. Wow, what a pile up. It started when Kidwell got into the back straightaway wall. Muhlenberg piled in as well as the rest of the back half of the field, and we got a nasty one over at the entrance of turn three. Next time by J.C. Morton continues to show the way. It's a three-lap dash to the checker to wrap up tonight's Outpace USRA B-Mod A main. We are back underway. Three laps to go, $1,000 in the balance of this one. The 28 of Andy Bryant down to the inside of the double zero. Jolly, and here comes Chris Jackson out of the B-Main. He started 13th. He's up to fourth with just a handful of laps to go in this one as J.C. Morton brings him off a of turn number four. Couple of laps to go here in this one. Everybody clean and green down the front straight away. Morton with a couple car length advantage. They'll slide to the wall. Cody Jolly trying to hold out Brian and Jackson as they run side by side. Down the back straight away, Andy Bryan will dispatch Jackson here as we head to the white flag. One to go this time by for J.C. Morton in 18. Jackson down to the inside of the 28 of Bryan here on the final lap of this one. J.C. Morton won two Ironman events last season, has been in the top five both previous nights here this weekend. He'll roll into turn number three and out of turn number four to claim the King of America finale for the B-Mods. J.C. Morton, your winner in the 18. Second will go to Jolly. Third to Bryant, fourth to Jackson, and fifth to Jake Richards. So your top three in that one, Andy Bryant with a strong third place run just ahead of hard charger Chris Jackson. Second goes to Thursday night's winner, Cody Jolly. Your J.C. Morton. J.C. will get you around here to the front of the car. Good run, J.C. You know, you, you never want to see a race come down to something like that at the end, that, that restart after that, that accident there. Tell me about your thoughts going through those last few laps, knowing your tires had cooled down and trying to get it to stick up there in one and two. Oh, you know, we had that red. Luckily, everybody was okay there. Uh, that's, that was bad. It looked like half the field. I'm not sure what happened there, but I think everybody was okay. Sitting there on the red, I was thinking about them tires. They cooled down. Uh, we've struggled on the long runs here. Like the end of the race, we just kind of lose some. Uh, we tried some different stuff tonight, different types, and it uh, looks like it worked pretty good. You know, I kind of teased you last night that you had to try to block low and high. This time, track right around the top. You had to put some mile per hour around that, and you, you just said you kind of struggled a little bit. Tell me the prep going from yesterday where you had to defend to tonight you just had to get up on the wheel. Oh, you know, yesterday we had that. I was blocking high and low. Couldn't block them both. We made it as wide as we could, and then I finally got past there on the outside. It moved up. It's pretty good. Heat races right up there on the top like that, and it looked like that last B feature or non-qualifiers race, whichever it was. Looked like them A mods were right up there, so I figured it was pretty good and got there as quick as I could and just didn't want to go to the bottom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, bringing it home to victory lane, J.C. Morton. Thank you, Jeff. Congratulations, J.C.